Australia's triumph in the Test match down in Sydney. Your commentators, David Gower and Greg Chapman. Thank you, Richie. And the question is, of course, can Pakistan do unto the West Indies what the West Indies did unto them? There'll still be a bit of life with these new balls in this track. West Indies only had the light roller on. I can assume that that means that Richard Richardson didn't want to bring any more moisture up towards the surface to help any potential movement for the Pakistan bowlers. They have a fearsome reputation at Wazim Akram and Waka Yunus. They're in form with the ball. They've just bowled out New Zealand in a test match in Hamilton to win that match. And he's passed the outside edge of Brian Lara. Now, there is a man in form. It wasn't a bad delivery. Just a nice little bit of movement from Wazim Akram. Beautiful left arm over the wicket. Just enough movement off the pitch. The informed batsman fancied his chances, but even he couldn't get uh, bat to ball on this occasion. Slightly different bat under his arm than the one he used in the Sydney Test match. Maybe his one day bat. That's a no ball from Wazim Akram. He's had trouble with those before. But for overstepping the crease, it would have still have been a useful delivery to the left-handed Brian Lara. And gets this ball to seam away quite sharply. High score, high score 88. Undefeated against Pakistan at the MCG. And Wazim Akram decides it's about time he bowled a wide as well. He's been aiming just outside the off stump in any case, at the left-hander, Brian Lara. Which doesn't leave him that much room for error. And he starts wide and goes even wider. Four runs on the board, all of them sundries, all of them wide. Well, that's four very good runs indeed. That's a fantastic shot from Brian Lara, just hitting the ball on the up. The remaining three matches. That's going to be caught. No, it's not. The big outside edge from Brian Lara. Rashid Latif dove across in front of first slip. Got his left glove to it. It wasn't enough. Wazim Akram isn't happy. West Indies get one more run. And more important, don't lose the wicket. Well, it looks spectacular in the way that Rashid Latif leaps across. But the lack of footwork is the thing that really is disappointing about that and that's why Wazim Akram can't believe it and is very frustrated and angry about the fact that Steve Latif has left across in front of Al Huck at uh, first slip it would have gone straight to the first slip fieldsman and Wazim Akram bowlers in ten useful runs off the over for West Indies Two balls being used. Would have been tight. It's him. In the air, he's out. Yes, he is. Quarter third man. So it wasn't Akram strikes. Brian Lara thrashing away. Racking in has took the catch straight to him. Went quickly. That's the breakthrough they needed. Indeed it was. The problem for Pakistan is that Waka Yunus and Wazim Akram can leave about 10 over each, so can Mr. Ahmed, spinner. Safely, he didn't have to move more than a yard or so, away to his right hand side. Now Brian Lara, 1 for 22. The West Indies and 9 over Scott. One across and then he'll spin one back in. It's the beautiful bowler. Here's his dismissal. Enough bounce there for Brian Lara not to be able to keep the ball down. Just. Uh